patron who gets this bow. <laughs> I knew I was able to give them away. Welcome back everybody to more archery and special welcome to my patrons because the next one is here. It's the Sarazen by Lukas Navalny. And this will be our next Patreon bow. So it means after I tested it and found that it's a good one, I will give it away. Again, this because I'm crazy. I should not do this, you know. There. It's there. Boom. So we lift the cover. Put this away. Then we find. Wow. Camelot Archer traditional Asiatic bows by Lukas Navalny, Turkish and Tata bows in hybrid material technology. And then you see everything you want to know. It's a warranty certificate with a date and additional notes 40 pound at 28, 45 pound at 30, max 31. So we have a mixture of 31 inches. Uh, draw weight, draw length, and back and grip the back of the grip so it's always measured from the back of the grip and the brace side is 17 centimeters so this is what you get as a warranty card nice in an envelope and all the information you need to have for your bow very nice and let's see what we get Ooh I'm excited because this bow was really looking interesting and there is a lot to cover because with this bow um, Lukas it went a slightly different way in building it. Holy Madonna. That's a pretty bow, short one. And the finish is wow, outstanding. Handle feels good. We have here a whipping. Um, put the box beside. So there is now no sleeve with this bow because he will get new sleeves with his logo on it so that's why he didn't provide us with a sleeve but I think you patron you will you who will get this bow you can live without the sleeve I guess when you see this pretty bow look at this flex in the handle goes up then goes a little out and then you have extremely long but very thin material wise thea sears and what he did what is now different to the other bows, the core, is usually one layer and it's maybe tapered to the outside. He made the core thicker and thinner and thicker again and thinner again and thicker again. So the core is tapered in a different way alongside the limb out to the sears. This is one different thing and the second the limb, if you would see the cross section of the limb, it's not a square, it's a trapezoid. Do you call it like this? So the, the back of the limb is slightly narrower than the belly of the limb, if that does make sense. So you have here an angle and here an angle. And that means we have more material on the compression part and less material on the tension part. And that sounds freaking awesome to me. And the final finish of this bow is simple insane. So this is a shorter version of the Tatar bow made in glass, carbon bamboo technology. Bamboo core is tapered as I said in a very unique way for possible best performance and stability of bow. Trapezoid limbs cross section, bow is very light and fast, that's true. Made in only one length about 54 inches. Bowstring length is 124 centimeters, max draw is 31 to 32 depending on the draw weight and the price starts from 450 euros. The birch bark decoration, which if you get this bow, really spend the money, that looks awesome, is 50 euros and the painting is 50 to 100 euros. But I think this is really, this makes this bow really look unique. I mean, you can have a look quickly at the, when you look at this one, and here you have this decoration all around. Looks impressive, but I think this one, uh, Lukas, you build stuff. 
So now I'll show you quickly the unstrung version. This is the new Sarazen. And this is his Turkish bow. Turkish bow quite straight on the handle. And then the limbs aggressive and slightly inwards. And then you see this one here, extreme flex in the handle and it goes straight and it goes up. So this is a complete different shape, complete different design. First things first. Wow, what a nice. So we have a leather patch as a string, string patch, string pad. Knock to knock. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. I'm at 28 in the middle, so we end up at now 44 and a half. So it's not even 45 inches, and we have a max draw of here. This is 31, gives you an F value of. Somebody ask again of the F value, it's simply my thing. I want to know the F value. Ooh, done. Oh, it's nice. Oh, such a pretty bow. But pretty looking alone doesn't help. Let's see how easy it is to string because we have this extreme flex in the handle. It's a 40 pounder 28. Now that was easy. That was, <laughs> that was really easy. See my eye. There's a little more here. So this is then the upper limb, I guess. Where's the writing? There's the writing. Let me see. Oh no, this is the arrow pass, I guess. I never know. Looks like so. Arrow pass is relatively narrow. And we have a nice whipping here, and then it goes into this birch bark. It's really pretty. Even you feel it. That's it. That's oh, whoa. 17 centimeters, he said, is the the things, you know, the hmm? exactly 17. But he said it's good for stability. Oh, oh yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why it was so easy to string. A really steady piece of bow, but good looking and Wait, the string is this way around, so then, yeah, you never know. Center serving is quite short, my friend. Could be a little longer if I have something to complain now. So these leather pads here, they will get a groove naturally the later from the string. Wow. But, you know, moment of truth, as usual. That's 31 inches. So 28, 29, 30, 31, no stacking whatsoever. Wow. You feel a little in the handle, so it might cause a little hand shock, but we see when we shoot this pretty bow. Wow. All I can say for now is handle feels, it's like, it's really directly in there. So this area is now 32, it's a bit too long. But we see. We didn't hear anything. And there is. You hear that? Oh. You feel it a little bit. Ah, it's so tiny. And then only for a few seconds. Done, gone. So. It's possible to build a bow without a vibration. I need to shoot this one. You see, because this arrow is 450, we are at 40 pounds, 45 pounds at 31. So it's roughly 10 grain. Hand shock. Almost, I, I expected now a little more hand shock, but you don't feel almost anything. Oh, ho, ho. Dear patron, you who will get this bow. So, I gave you all information, only one thing about Lukas Navalny, just in case you don't know him, but of course all my, I think all my Facebook friends know him. He won the European Championship in traditional archery this year, so congratulations again from my side. Well done. So he knows how to shoot and he knows how to build extremely nice bows. Let's shoot. Really nice. So, what we shoot first, our range arrows, and we shoot Mediterranean, because let's say somebody told me, no, you can't shoot this Mediterranean. 
Ooh. They are 320 grain. I don't know now the minimum grain. I think it's, I forgot. So easy, very easy to do. Not that easy anymore because we have this bump, this light bump there, but it's still doable this way around. So both ways work, that's fine. Let's see what the oh, so sun. I started a little early today, 29 inches. Wow. There you feel a little the vibration with these lightweight arrows, but hey, they are 31 inches and they weigh 340. So they are, again, a little too light. We are at 45 pounds and they are 340. Wow. And he said it's not the fastest and he put a slow string on it. So a soft string, which makes the bow a little slower. But hey. Comes good. And now my heavy ones, 300, uh, 450, 60 something. 480, yeah, that'd be different, you know. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep, that's my draw length. Back there you feel it then a little, so. That would be 28, 29, 30, 31. Then you max it out, but there's no stacking. You only feel after 31, it goes a little up. Oh. Let's check what this pretty one will do on 20 meters with the 29 inch arrows. <gasps> Almost center shot. Oh, was a little wobbly. 30 meters. Oh, that's fun. You see that? You see, did I need, do I need to zoom in? Holy cow. I usually don't shoot that good. <laughs> so they go a little left now. Nice. Awesome. Look at Wow. Now look at this. And instantly this bow feels good. So you don't need even a few shots, ho ho, heavy ones. So these light arrows, no problem. Oh, even the heavy ones, they're gonna let to the right. We need to compensate for that. Yep, nice. Hmm. I have to admit, I never shot that good on 20 and 30 meters with different arrows with one bow. It's insane, this bow is directly you don't need to get used to it. It's directly part of, at least me. All different arrows directly out of the hand. What are they doing? Doesn't matter. Holy crap. That was a bad release. To focus a bit more, get rid of the hay. I really need to. You need to come with me now. Come with me now. Let's show you something. Look down there. You see that? Three different lengths, three different weights three different spines with this bow. Outstanding. For me, this bow is already sold. So I don't care about the speed anymore. It felt fast enough for me, but what I felt is instantly it felt good. I directly hit the target 20, 30 meters with all the different arrows. And that's why speed, no, but we you know. Some people need speed in their life. Let's see, 29 inches, 320 grain, 197. 
What's going on? Knock is loose. Okay. 213. They are, what did I say? 340 grain and we draw 31 inches. 191. Tip is loose, but I don't care. 200. And they are then 450, 60. So this is then roughly 10 grain. Our reference 175. 183. Holy cow. It's not fast, huh? <coughs> 182. Fast, beautiful, lightweight, sturdy. I don't know, I ran out of, what else can I say? <laughs> Other than my finger. And feels directly like a part of at least me. Feels really good. So the only really big complaint is the center serving could be a little longer because when you put the arrow here, you don't have a lot of center, not, not a lot of center serving left. But that's the only complaint I have. This is now the bow at 28. Gorgeous curves, huh? Really nice with this flex in the handle. And it still looks good. Here is, of course, quite sharp edge, but then you have this long, really pretty. 30 is here, looks still fine, I don't have 31, look what I draw it, not 32, but you will forgive me, see this not a 32, then you see of course here the sharp angle, and what do we have here, let's see, where is my measuring device, it's here, so, at 32, <laughs> we are exactly at 60 degrees. See that? Exactly 60 degrees at 32. So performance wise, we are just there. No longer, but in 31, it's even better. But you see here, the see here goes exactly, the, the, the string angle is exactly 60 degrees. It's insane. 53 inches long, wow. 31, 32 inches, just perfect for this bow. Incredible, incredible. I don't measure the drawway because Lukas does really a good job in doing this, but look at this pretty bow. Huh? I leave you a second alone with this bow so you can drool a bit like I do just now. First of all, thank you very much, Lukas. I think your design changes and he really put a lot of thought in it, making the core, tapering it in different sections of the limb. Makes fully sense. This thing is flexible, but sturdy. It's really for a 40 pounder, for extreme sears and for an extreme flex in the handle. It's very sturdy. Here, sturdy. I think even this trapezoid, uh, cross section of the limb makes sense somehow. It's this bow is fast, is silent. You feel no hand shock even with these lightweight arrows after a few shots. There's nothing, and even vibration. I mean, it, it's there, but you don't really. You really have to feel it for five seconds. Holy moly! And it's a pretty bow. 450 euros, fully worth it, but when you get it, really guys, look at this birch bark here. You can focus on here, please. Look at this paintings, then this birch bark, then this painting. It's 150 more or something, but this bow is, is worth it. Look at this. And of course, craftsmanship, we don't have to say anything. It's perfect. Here we have a little sharp corner. So when you put the string 
up there. When you put the string up there, always from the inside or something, take a bit care. This corner is quite sharp. This corner is quite sharp. The rest, everything nice, smooth, rounded. Horse pick arches. Be aware of this bow. Here, for safety reasons, we have a whipping. So we have, you know, because here we have the most pressure in the bow, obviously. Even the other limb, look at this. It's such a pretty bow. We have very thin, everything rounded here. The string runs smooth around the head. Ends up in this leather patch here, which already has now a groove in it. Then we have this slightly spine here. Of course, not too much. Pretty in the shape of this bow. Handle feels really, it's really good. So this handle is like it should be. I like this handle. You have it and as I said, for your horse archery, Kashai style works. Works with everything, gives you really nice control. Because you have it in the back and you have it in the front. This, this drop shape is for me, fits just perfecto. And here you see, Katra already wants to come and you don't even shoot and you want to do Katra already. This bow wants to do Katra. I have nothing more to say, only if you're not patron by now, I don't know when else you should start becoming Patreon, uh, pa patron on the pat patron on the Patreon on our Patreon project. Look at this nice. Is this insane, Lukas? Really? And me, stupid, have to give this bow away? Huh? Uh, I don't do any more close-ups, but this is, huh? I wonder who will get this bow. The limbs are quite thin. That's fine. The bow is totally, totally straight, even if I use the step through method. And the draw experience is 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And then you max it out with 60 degrees, but it's just fine. The limbs are not completely right angle, so they still have a little flex, so they don't get in, go back too far. That's, that's a really pretty bow. Oh, wow. I am very impressed. I am very grateful that I have this job I have, <laughs> because I have the chance to test bows like this. Patchwork. So. That's all I need to stop now, otherwise I fall too much in love with this bow and then most probably it will get lost somewhere and I can't give it away. <laughs> I'm joking. Dear patrons, one of you guys, I will ask of course again a question then. So make sure that you watch the video, that you share it, that you comment on my video, that you like it, that you do everything necessary. Hmm. And then you have the chance to get this bow. I thought it would be a good bow, but that it's even that fast. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.